Greetings all from Terra here at D-Lab. This video is an update on the 2E26 Class A amplifier project. You know, a couple weeks ago I posted a video showing the original 2E26. Well, since then, I've done some updates and they're pretty important to do if you're planning on building one of these amps, okay? So I'm gonna to cut to the old schematic We'll discuss what that was, and I'll show you the updates. And I highly recommend that you do those updates because it'll be a cleaner amp and a little bit more responsive than the original design. So here's the second 2E26 amp. Same lineup, 12AX7, OA2 regulator tube, and of course the 2E26, 8 watt single-ended type output transformer. Right. Now the new one is going to be built in this cool Detrola cabinet. This was an old Model 571 that I picked up. It had no chassis in it, but I thought, man, what a cool amp to build the 2E26 in. And what I did is I took this Sam's Photofact and I cut out the schematic and made my dial art. And I also made the artwork around the controls. So when I was making the new D-Lab 2E26, I came up with some ideas for improving the power supply and putting less heat inside of the chassis. And that involved removing the 5.6K resistor that you saw on the original schematic and changing it with a 10K 10 watt. Still the, does the job, there's less heat you still get the great regulated screen voltage as before. So let's cut to the schematic and I'll show you the changes. So here is the first 2E26 schematic that I released a couple weeks ago for you guys to build one on your own if you wished, okay? Take a look at the screen circuit supply. I come off the one filter cap, then I go through the 5.6K resistor, and then from there it hits the OA2 and from there I had a resistor that went up and fed the screen of the 2E26. I found that it had a little bit more hum than what I wished to have so I added another filter cap. We're going to cut to the new schematic now. There it is. So I added the second filter cap and there's a 250 ohm resistor now in series between the two setting up kind of a cheap Pi filter. Then we're going to go through a 10K resistor. We're going to hit the OA2 regulator. Then we have a 100 ohm resistor that goes up to the screen of the 2E26. And there's an added 22 microfarad cap from that screen pin to ground. This really helped with the regulation of the screen circuit. And of course with the additional filter cap, it made the amp quieter. So if you're going to build one of these, I'd highly recommend that you make these changes to your design. So here is the newest design 2E26 amp under test. Here is my screen voltage coming off of the OA2. You can take a look right down here and see the new filter caps with the 250 ohm 5 watt resistor in series right there, giving your little Pi filter. Here is the 10K 10 watt resistor now dropping the voltage to the OA2 so she runs cool as a cucumber compared to the 5.6K 4 water that I had in the initial design. Right there is the 22 microfarad cap that goes to the screens. Okay, So we got our scope over here and I'm injecting the old WaveTech audio generator. We'll bring up the input and you can see on the scope which it looks good. I can really crank it get some super great fold over. So the 2E26 now gets a bonus of some additional current because before we were about half of this value on the screen uh, dropping resistor. Since we have doubled that the idle current for the OA2 is around 10 to 12 milliamps versus almost 20 milliamps with the other resistor. So I'd highly recommend that you make this change 
and you get a little bit more power out of your new 2E26 amp. So I wanted to relay this information to you so that you didn't build this amp and say, man, that resistor on the screen is running hotter than a firecracker, right? So I thought that the design was okay before and it does work fine, except I came up with a change. I had an old Air Force instructor that would do that to me and a lot of guys that I work with know the story. We would go through these scenarios of repairing missile sites and you have to do it this way and follow this procedure. But there was always an exception. And here it is from D-Lab. Update your 2E26, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again.